All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Off Access Builds. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a Monday update to uh, kind of show you guys what's coming up on the next video uh, following Wednesdays. This episode is going to be uh, replacing the electrical cover underneath the, the hood. It covers all the wiring there. Uh, there were a few years that did cardboard, uh, and then there was a few years that did... Uh, no covering at all and then there's a few years that started doing plastic uh 67 had a plastic one i really liked uh it actually will fit some older models uh but 68 they came out with this one that had this big gaping hole in the top uh, and I'll, I'll actually show you it here in a minute and uh anyway so i wanted to replace that with something that's a little bit uh more streamlined uh, covers all electrical, doesn't have that big gaping hole. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And I also have a few other things I want to show you. Uh, kind of get you guys' opinion on uh, the direction I should go with this front clip. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, 68 cover plate that I have and the 67. All right, guys, before we get started, I just want to give a little shout out to uh, this guy I found on Facebook, or rather he found me on Facebook. Um, he's got a website, um, it's uh, bomberseats.com. This guy makes some pretty sweet bomber seats. He's got some uh, raw finish, powder coated finish. Um, he's got some uh, just painted ones, uh, ones with holes in it, ones with uh, different designs on the back. Um, Check it out, bomberseats.com. He's even got uh, one set that I think he said it was coming out pretty soon here with a VW logo on it. Anyways, check him out and I'll show some pictures of uh, some seats that he's made. Also put his uh, website in the link down below. So, anyways, check him out. All right, guys. So, what we have here in the front—that's the '68 model. You could see the a big gaping hole that's cut in the top. Originally, I thought that the previous owner did that to uh, repair the uh, windshield wipers or something. Obviously, it was not the case because when I did a little bit more research on it, '68 was the first model to have that little notch not sure why but they did the other thing that 68 did was it made it a little bit deeper that's roughly about three inches deep and then the bottom is about an inch okay so what i replaced it with was a 67 uh an older cover should fit just fine as long as the wiper motor actually clears that plastic and i, I think it's going to be uh uh, a nice fit in there in any case let's take a look at it you can see automatically that it's about half the size of the 68 model the bottom is the same same dimensions about one inch but the nice thing about this one is it actually covers all of the electrical and i'll go into that more on the video and show you uh the the gaping hole and all that on the uh, upcoming video this wednesday the other thing I wanted to run by you guys, I'm looking at doing some eyebrows, okay? I'm leaning towards doing these angry eyes. I don't know if you can see that, the light. So what I'd like to do is put these eyebrows on, kind of give an angry look. Um, I'm leaning towards this way. The other way would be to do opposite direction. But in my opinion, that kind of makes it look like a uh, 
I don't know, looks sad, drunken, I don't know. I'm not too thrilled about that look. You guys give me your opinion. Alright, so give me your opinion on that front clip, whether I should go uh, in with them or out. I'm leaning towards going the in direction, uh, make it look a little more angry as opposed to doing the opposite direction. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, remember guys to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell for upcoming notifications. Remember guys, it's built, not bought. See you Wednesday.